Now we move to the Billy Shermermere trial. Big developments today. Several efforts to break a deadlock with the jury. A Dallas County judge was then ultimately forced to declare a mistrial. Happened this afternoon in the accused serial killer's death case. So what is next? Andrea Lucia, live with reaction at the courthouse. Andrea? Yeah, this was surprising, Doug. It came down to uh, one juror. Early on in the day, the jury sent out a note to the court saying that she was refusing to deliberate throughout the day. We had more notes coming out saying that uh, they were hopelessly deadlocked, that nothing was changing, that uh, they were stuck at an impasse. Uh, Judge Rocky Jones brought them into court for what is called an Allen charge. She told them that there has been a lot of time and effort put into this trial, and she said if they could not reach a conclusion, the case would likely be retried with the exact exact same evidence being presented to another set of jurors and that there is no reason to think that that jury will find it any easier to reach a verdict. But with that single juror refusing to budge, the judge did this afternoon declare the mistrial and hung jury. Dallas County District Attorney John Cruzeau was present in the court and he has confirmed he will retry this case. We asked both him and defense attorney Kobe Warren for their reaction though to this mistrial. I, I never have an anticipation of anything except that we'll do our best and I have been involved in cases where you think that the person is just guilty of everything and the jury thinks otherwise. Whoever that juror was, um, at any point where they decided the state had not met their burden, they were entitled to stand by that belief and that's what they did and I, and I appreciate that and everyone should appreciate that. That's what's necessary, that's what makes the system work. And Billy Shamir will remain in jail where he has been since his arrest in 2018, now awaiting a retrial for the capital murder of Luthi Harris. He also has 17 other capital murder indictments that he could be tried for and even more cases in which he is considered a suspect for murder. Reporting live here in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea, thank you very much. And we know after the judge declared the mistrial, the families of the victims Shermermere is accused of killing told us that they're sad, but they are determined. Some of the murders happened in Dallas County, others in Collin County. We know the strength of the cases that we have in Collin County. And so at this point, we would love to see Collin County step forward and prosecute Billy Shamirmere on the strength of those cases so that we can get the justice that all of the families deserve. We are devastated uh, at the outcome of this trial. We are very thankful to the prosecution for putting together such a strong and compelling case. And we are, in answer to your question, we are sickened that we have to come back and, and hear the same evidence again. But all these family members, as we spoke with them today, vowed that whenever that next trial is scheduled, they say that they will all be there.